American public education is in crisis because it's under attack. It's an existential crisis. Never has there been such a sustained assault on the very survival of public education. An informed public, I believe, and we must believe, will not tolerate the abandonment of public education. An informed public will not let the elites and the ideologues and the billionaires privatize the schools that belong to all the people. We have the biggest, most successful economy in the world. We have the greatest higher education institutions in the world. Other nations look to us because of our innovations and our creativity. Surely, some of this success is due to the 90% of the population educated in our public schools. Education is a right, not a race. So let's remember that. A race has one winner and a lot of losers. That's not what we want for our children. Goal number two of the corporate reform movement is deprofessionalization. They don't believe that any preparation is needed to become a teacher, or for that matter, to become a principal or a superintendent. They think that anyone should be allowed to teach, because to them, teaching is not a profession, it's just the job. Privatization, deprofessionalization. What is the biggest obstacle to this movement? The teachers' unions. Why should the unions be turned into villains and into scapegoats, as it has been, in, as they have been in the media? It's to silence you, to say that you have a self-interest. Of course, all those people who are out to make money on the schools and, and turn charters into for-profit and have online schools making millions, they don't have a self-interest. Only you have a self-interest. In this state alone, as you all well know, education spending has been cut by many billions. Class sizes are rising, teachers have been laid off, and the public is supposed to believe that this is the formula for reform? How ridiculous is that? This is the formula for destroying public education. Poverty is the root cause of low academic performance, although reformers say it's just an excuse. Why are we closing public schools and replacing them with private management? Why are we fragmenting com communities? Why tear down an institution that has been essential to our democracy? The public schools are a public good, like public parks, public beaches, public playgrounds, the fire department, the police department. We should not close them and open them as if they were shoe stores. The teacher is the most in important influence on academic performance within the school, but the influence of the school and the teacher is dwarfed by the influence of family, particularly family income, and the student. Family income is the most reliable predictor of test scores. Merit pay doesn't work because schools are collaborative by nature. Schools are communities. Teachers share what they know with other teachers to help the students. Teachers become teachers because they want to make a difference in the lives of children. You don't become a teacher to become rich. And somehow we've got to get ourselves dug out of this hole that we have to measure everything that moves and judge everybody by those measures and call it accountability. Of course, you notice there's no accountability with the legislature. There's no accountability for district leadership. The, all the accountability falls on teachers. The more emphasis we put on testing and getting the right answer, the more we discourage creativity, inquiry, playfulness, originality, risk-taking, freedom of thought, innovation. If we do this, we will kill the very sources of our nation's success.